This video will cover the topic, using cofunction identities. Can we go over which trig functions are cofunctions? Trigonometric functions that are cofunctions are closely related to each other. The following pairs are cofunctions, sine and cosine, tangent and cotangent, and secant and cosecant. Okay, so it looks like we have the functions sine, tangent, and secant, and their cofunctions just have co added to the front of those names. That's right, and these pairs are related by cofunction identities. The cofunction identities are as follows. Let's take a look at an example problem. Let's use a cofunction to write an expression equal to secant of pi elevenths. Looking at our cofunction identities, we see that secant x equals cosecant of pi halves minus x. In our problem, we see that x equals pi elevenths. This means that secant of pi elevenths equals cosecant of pi halves minus pi elevenths. We can find the least common denominator of pi halves and pi elevenths to simplify the cosecant expression. Since 22 is the least common multiple of 2 and 11, we can rewrite the cosecant expression as cosecant of 11 pi over 22 minus 2 pi over 22. Simplifying the right side of the equation, we see that secant of pi elevenths equals cosecant of 9 pi over 22. Let's take a look at one more example. Use a cofunction to write an expression equal to cotangent of 79 degrees. This problem is in units of degrees rather than radians. Can we still use the same cofunction identities? We can. Since pi halves radians equals 90 degrees, we can rewrite our cofunction identities as follows. We can use the identity cotangent of x equals tangent of 90 degrees minus x, with x equaling 79 degrees. Simplifying the right-hand side, we see that cotangent of 79 degrees equals tangent of 11 degrees. Okay, so to write equivalent trigonometric expressions, we can use the cofunction identities to relate pairs of expressions. The cofunction pairs are sine and cosine, tangent and cotangent, and secant and cosecant. That's exactly right. Great work!